Welcome to the Nerd and Geek Section Podcast. I am your host, Mace, and with me is my daughter, Brooklyn. Say hi. Hello. And, Hello. and playing behind us is Manifest's new song called Dangerous. With being on uh, Spotify and their wonderful podcast, I'm allowed to now use Spotify music for intros. Who knows Yay. what who knows what happens with YouTube and Twitch though? I don't know. I it could end up being no. Well, I'll get great strikes. Oh yeah, I'll get demonetized or something. But it's not like I'm asking for money or anything, so it's yeah. okay. Yeah. I don't I don't mind. So enough of that. How has uh your week gone, Brooke? Uh fine. Did some interesting stuff Tuesday and Wednesday, but Yeah. Mostly school. Mostly school. That's all boring. Easy. Did didn't you uh do something last night? Oh yeah, we went trick or treating. <laughs> you went trick or treating. I mean, oh my gosh. Uh, um why why don't you uh tell everybody who you were? I was Purple Guy slash William Afton from Five Nights at Freddy's. Now what's fun what's funny about this costume is that originally Brooke asked me uh if she could be a security guard. And I'm like, oh sure, why not? Uh you haven't really you know, been a security guard, I guess, in the past, even though she went from wanting to be like someone from My Hero Academia. Um, but <laughs> yeah, she was like, uh, can I be be a security guard? I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? So then uh, I'm thinking, you know, e easy costume. But then she's like, well, I'd like a purple shirt. OK, um, you know, security guard hat. All right. Uh, black pants, <coughs> and I'm like, okay, black tie. I have one. I don't remember where it is. Um, and then she goes and she uh she basically last Sunday we had trunk or treat at my church and uh she ends up you know she made a batch and. On the badge, what was it? What what all did it say? I have a replica right here. Okay. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza at the top with William Afton, head of security. I'm like... Okay, uh... Who's that? And she she goes in this whole spiel, and I'm just I'm I'm more dumbfounded than anything because she was just like I just want to go as security guard. And I'm like okay sure, and then she ends up telling me that she's like some psycho killer who is a security <laughs> guard, and I'm thinking this is one of the times I should have asked before she actually was the character, so at least I would have been prepared. And she tells this. I believe it was to the pastor and his wife at church. Cause they asked you who you were. I just said William Afton. I, but who, who you, you explained it more in detail to someone. And I was Tim, Tim, our worship <laughs> leader. You, you were like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm a psycho killer in a video game. And I'm just thinking, yeah, great parent here. I thought you were just a security guard at a pizza place. All right, <laughs> moving on was now. I was going to be one of them, but then I changed my mind last minute. Yeah. Well, I was probably going to be Eggs Benedict but yeah well so oh. so that was fun but you were yeah. pretty excited last night when someone recognized you 
only one person recognized me. Everyone else saw I was a cop since they, since Spirit Halloween didn't have any security guard hats, even though on the website they said they did. They didn't. So I got a police hat. So everyone thought I was a police guard or like a policeman. Well, I mean, still, I mean, how many people would recognize? I mean, how many times has your character actually been in the game? Uh, Not much, right? No. So the chances of someone actually recognizing you for who you are is pretty slim. So, I mean, that's, I, I still think one person knowing who you were was pretty cool. It was probably the purple shirt. Well, it's still same, you know, mm-hmm. they were able, they were able to figure out who you were. So that can't be all that bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was so happy. <laughs> did, you, did you get good stuff last night? I didn't yeah, really get, I didn't really get to see you just handed me like, a whole bar of Snickers and some other stuff, I got, and I gave you a bunch of Snickers. Um, but that that's about it. So I got Hershey's chocolate bar as big as my face. Yeah, I remember that house. They were just handing out big old chocolate bars to everybody. Mm-hmm. Then uh, the one house that we always like going to that always sells the not sells always gives out the little drinks. Yeah, it's Kool Aid. Oh, it's Kool-Aid? Yeah, it's Kool-Aid. Oh, and I always forget what brand it is. Yeah, it's Kool-Aid in the wax bottles for any of the OGs out there who know what I'm talking about. So. Remember the barrel, the, like the barrel drinks? Yeah, yeah, those, those are definitely on the cheap end. Cheap end of the, the fruity. The fruity juices. Yeah. Juice. Things that aren't very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, some news today. Guess what is announced to be coming out on December, I believe, 2nd? Any guesses? I know it's not Mandalorian. I know that. Well, yeah, that, that, came, that came out today. Yeah. Um, <coughs> any guesses? New season behind her academia. It, it has nothing to do with anything on TV, movies, nothing. It is very much food related. Food related. Food related. How am I going to get that? Because it is a huge thing. New Dolwick. No, no, sorry. I know this episode is going to be heavily themed on. Disney. Uh, Disney and all that stuff, but no, no. You can at least give me another hint. Um, has to do with McDonald's. Thinks of all the Spanish McDonald's <laughs> as I've been getting. <laughs> That's literally like all the McDonald's ads I've been getting. They're all Spanish. Yeah, no, no. Um, one last try. One last try think everybody's probably screaming at you by now uh, I, I said it's mcdonald's related I the up. mcrib I... oh the mcrib is coming back december 2nd this is huge how was i, how was I supposed to know that because <laughs> i'm your father and the mcrib is one of the greatest things ever all right are you kidding me? It's better than all right. I'm not like other kids my age. I'm not obsessed with fast food. But we're talking about the McRib. This is it's like an event when this sucker comes around. This is like the one the one item McDonald's needs to keep on the menu. Forget about spicy nugs at this point. Want the McRib. Hey, what about those barbecue chicken tendies that they had? Those were good. Well, yeah, I mean, those were good. I don't understand why they took them off the item or, you know, took them off the the menu, but... I think they come around when the McRib comes around. I, I don't know. Um, 
I don't it's, know anymore. It, it's it's very it's you kind of don't want to put like two oh excuse me two limited items on the menu at the same time. Good point. But um, no, nah, this is this is huge. It's it's kind of been a while since the big rib's been out. And I guess this is nationwide rather than just in like certain places like last year. So this is this is huge, huge. Pretty nice. Yeah, I, I know exactly what I'm doing on December 2nd. I am getting myself a bunch of McRibs. Question is, who is else am I going to be at? Oh, that is a good question. You know what? But why does it matter to you? You 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 said what that the I, McRib is just I, eh. What if I want to retry? I've only had it once. Well, you're you you'll be with me. And my taste buds were also different, then I didn't really care for spicy stuff. It's not spicy though. To me it was, I think. I don't know. They what okay, what I find weird is I can't believe we're gonna be talking about the McRib this much. Um <laughs> And and even your like chicken tent your chicken tenders you know, they um, were kind of so I different. mean those were spicy so I guess that's a different barbecue sauce, but yeah. with the McRib, you know they have the the barbecue sauce, you mm -hmm. know, the regular barbecue sauce, and yeah. it's different from the McRib's barbecue sauce. Really, it is. It's like way different, and. I don't understand why they do it. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about the food industry. industry. I don't know too much either, except I want my McRib. That's it. <coughs> so. But. All right, let's. Let's start talking about what we wanted to talk about. Yeah. And do you, do you want to do that or do you want to hit? I do have some news on different Disney stuff if you'd like to talk about that. And I have some, and I have a couple ideas of what I want to talk of like extra stuff I want to talk about. But okay. Um, let, let, can, let, go ahead. We, we can start with your news. Okay. Um, there are some people and, you know, everybody knows that Splash Mountain is getting a reefer, both at Disney World and Disneyland. Oh, same uh, with Disneyland? Yeah, same with Disneyland. I just thought it was Disney World. I didn't even realize that they had one in Disneyland. No, the, the one in Disneyland makes sense turning into the uh, Tiana, you know, to a Tiana ride, Princess Tiana. Because, um, like, they're more of, like... Is like it's like more back when they did like all the like Disney princess animated movies. Sort no, of. no, no. It's it's more because of the location of where oh. it's at. Uh, over over in Disneyland, it's called it's uh, and I just forgot the name New Orleans. It's New Orleans inspired over there, so it makes sense to put you know a Tiana, a Princess Tiana ride over there. Now, what doesn't make sense is Splash Mountain over here is in front, in Disney World is in Frontierland. Yeah. It's complete but... opposite of the theming of what they're going for. It's literally by, um, crap, what's my favorite roller coaster there? Um, it is, uh, I want to say Mine Train, but it's not the Mine Train. It's not Mine Train. Um, um... You threw me off. I wasn't. Uh, yeah, Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain. Yes. Yes. So the problem it's is, it's it's over by Big Thunder Mountain, and it's which is Frontierland, and then also to if you're looking at it to the left, it's still Frontierland as well. Um, you yeah, have pirates just kind of you know down the down the way from it, and but yet they want to you know change it to Tiana. Um. My suggestion, not that Disney is listening, is to turn it into the Muppets. I like that idea, though. I I I think it, I think it's a great idea. You know, you come up to the top, you come up to the top. Kermit is sing, singing uh, "Rainbow Connection," and then you just then 
all heck breaks loose. I mm-hmm. think I, I think that would be perfect. I mean, the the only only other Muppets influence is they have a show over at um, Hollywood Studios. Well, yeah, they have Hollywood Studios, and then they have um, that like it's kind of like I don't know exactly what it is because I've never really seen it. But I uh, got the uh, show that's over by the square, uh, kind of by like Haunted Mansion. They have one there? Yeah, believe it or not. Oh, wait. I don't um, know. But I think I, think I might they... have seen them. Huh? I feel like I might have seen them hanging out like the window or something. Yes. Don't know. Yes. yes. Um, I, I, I think that would be a good fit. Yeah. In, in all honesty. And you still call it Splash Mountain for all intense purposes as well you just change the theme and make it muppets because i mean we don't muppets don't really have a ride they just have shows yeah so it's it it would be cool to actually have like a ride presence for them but Mm -hmm. this one i think is even stranger okay can i say something about the muppets one real quick yeah so basically, I would say it would be a good idea if they wanted to like, like close like Muppets 3D or like the show that's in, uh, by Haunted Mansion. So then I would see kind of see it as like a ride version of Muppets 3D, since you're saying all hell, all heck breaks loose. Uh huh. So it would be, it would, it, I feel like it would be uh Muppets 3D 2.0. Yeah. And then you know with the technology they have with the new screens and projection mapping, I mean, who knows what they can. They could do with the ride, you know. It'll be cool to see Muppets 3D remade. It, that is definitely in need of a refurbish. And that's even me saying something. I mean, it's it also we haven't been on it in a while. No, we haven't. Because <laughs> I don't want because I didn't like going on it because it got loud at points. Yeah, you and loud things. I don't get it. <laughs> So, what they what this certain group wants to chain to retheme Splash Mountain into a Black Panther ride? Yeah, yeah. I've heard some that's something you would want for California Adventure. Yeah, it. No, no, we're we're not turning Splash Mountain into just a Black Panther ride. No, yeah, that is the most idiotic way of remembering Black Panther yeah. and Chadwick Boseman. I don't, I don't care. No, and the whole reason they want to do this is because they see they see it as an opportunity to, you know, have something changed. You know, and that's an e- easy fix or whatever. And so. in my opinion, I feel like since California or since um, for Disneyland, Splash Mountain's not in California Adventure, then we don't even have any Marvel, ri- Marvel rides yet at Disney World. I still don't think it's a good fit. I worth it being in Frontierland for us in Disney World. I would rather see Wakanda and take out Dinosaur Land. Get rid of it over at Animal Kingdom. Just de- just get rid of all of it. Put Wakanda in there, like how they did with Avatar. And even change up the dinosaur ride. I'd rather see the dinosaur ride turn into something Black Panther. Or take it down, put a roller coaster. I don't know. I would much rather see Black Panther go into Animal Kingdom than a log flume ride for crying out loud it may <laughs> yes it does make sense in uh animal kingdom but i want to go back to dinosaur land whatever dinosaur usa dino usa i don't know what they call it i can't remember because really if we go to animal kingdom it's just for avatar yeah that's really the only reason why we go anymore since they really since it's mostly animal based and we and like since usually the safari is the same thing every time we usually don't go on it anymore yeah 
Now, now I will say after watching that Animal Kingdom thing on, uh, on Disney Plus, I would like to go back on the, the Safari just to see, you know, some of the stuff that they put in. But um, I mean, be yeah, you're right. Beside besides Avatar and Everest, can't forget Everest. Oh yeah. Um. You know, there really isn't much there. Uh dinosaur it is cool and all, but it is it, it it's uncomfortable. Um that ride is just uh even I don't want to ride it and I've never rode it. Um I think you, I think you should. I'm but scared of noises. You're scared of noises. That's that's definitely the ride to go on then. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah turning turning black panther into a log flume ride no no i think we could definitely agree on that that's for sure <clears throat> sorry i don't know why i'm coughing so much break me some water now this next one it's interesting don't know if this is actually happening or not. It has been rumored that maybe something would happen. But there's a sign. So the laugh floor. Monsters Inc. laugh floor. Um, you, There is a sign when, you know, as soon as you walk up to it and you go to the right to go in, the uh, the sign for that that's right there, right in front, has been taken down. Now, it hasn't been in operation as far as I know of since uh you know, Disney's come back and with COVID and everything. Uh they've been kind of keeping those kind of shows kind of closed. But that sign did go down. Now the mart the the main sign out front is still up. But no one knows if that's next, if they're replacing the little sign out front. Do you want to see that that show go? You look like you're about to cry. <laughs> I'm not about to cry. I'm not. I swear. But I don't want to see that go. I I don't want to see it go either, but it ne it needs a change of some sort. Yeah. Because it's kind of always the same thing every time. Yeah, it does need a refurbishment. Yeah. Like how I don't think Stitch should have gone. Oh, that... Because I wanted to give that ride another try, but when I was ready to give it another try, it was gone. Yeah, I... Pe why, why people... did they do that? Well, huh? Why did, is it known why they did that? Okay, it, it goes back to Al Alien Encounter um before it it got a bad rap it, either either people loved it or people hated it there was no in between in it uh there was there was just a lot of people who thought that alien encounter was a little too much to be a disney product even looks even, back to go, go ahead sorry uh e even though over at hollywood studios you had uh the you had like the backlot tour and you had um uh oh what what's the ride name great you, movie ride yeah great movie ride and you know you had alien you had alien in it yeah so what i was always scared of that part to look up um so it's been too long yeah but but uh be because of it and how scary it was you know they tried to at least make it so that kids would ride it and or not ride it but experience it and put stitch in and i think everybody just kind of they they kept holding on to that alien encounter ride or not I, why do i keep calling it a ride experience and they wouldn't let go of it 
you know um so i i wish more people would give would have gave stitch a chance it was really funny it was cute um but yeah it it yeah <laughs> it's sad the first go ahead sorry no no I'm, i was just saying it's sad that it, that it you know had to go but uh the first time I wrote it, and the only time I wrote it, it would have been my first and my last and the only time, was back when, I think I was like six or seven, maybe a little bit older, but I think I was like around six, seven. I think I, I think, was six. I think. Yeah, I was around six. Because this was back when I was in like first grade. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. So then, uh, I was terrified. Because of, like, the breathing and, you know, like, all the stuff that was, like, going on. Like, I was terrified. Yeah. I walked out, like, crying. Yeah. And, <laughs> and a couple years later, like, about probably, like, not too long after they closed it, I wanted to write it again. But then I saw that they closed it, and I was really sad. Well, at the time, though, at the time you wanted to write it, it was only seasonal. <laughs> So I forgot they, that. <clears throat> yeah, so they didn't have it. It wasn't going very often. Yeah, I think I think <clears throat> I think that uh, when we went a couple times, it was open, but we just there there was other stuff that we were wanting to do. Yeah, um, I think I think you guys went ahead over to Buzz and Evan wanted to go to Space Mountain, you know, stuff like that. People mover. Um, which the people mover is still down, uh, supposedly. Oh, it's been down. Well, it's been in refurbishment. I didn't realize um, that they're refurbishing it. Yeah, it went into refurbishment. I think maybe a month ago, and no, maybe no, it was probably longer. And they, they had, uh, they're thinking it's not going to be till twenty twenty one until the refurbishment is done, which is quite long for that ride. What are they even refurbishing? I have no clue. They're looking to refurbish. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't I don't know what they would refurbish on that ride. I don't know <laughs> if maybe the What was that? If anything, it's like the seats. Yeah. Like if anything is that. It's like the only thing they'll probably need to refurbish. I don't know if the track <laughs> needs dealt with or I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was kind of weird. But, yeah, because like two of the parts were looking into Space Mountain and Buzz. I mean, unless maybe they're trying to paint a little bit. I don't, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. But but still, why would painting take so long to do? Maybe there's one person doing it. Still, that shouldn't take that long. <laughs> no, it shouldn't really. It shouldn't. <laughs> so. That's pretty much all the news I got. Um, well, I do have one more. Um, on Disney Plus, if you're a Simpsons fan, I guess every month they're going to have a uh, kind of a theme going with all their episodes. Like right now, you know, it's uh, Halloween. Okay. So, so they have all their uh, Halloween episodes up. So, so that's cool. It's nice that Disney Plus is doing something a little bit different than what Netflix has been doing. So, speaking of Netflix, Netflix has been a very good use to me these past couple of days. Really? Yes, it's the most I've used it in forever. Really? Yes. Well, why don't you tell me? Because I'm almost debating about getting rid of it because they've upped the price yet again. Two dollar by two dollars, so now instead my bill, you know, is sixteen. It's now going to be eighteen. And you might think, oh well, that's not much, Mace. That's not much at all. But seeing as they did that the year prior as well, raise it another two dollars. So it's gone up four dollars in the past two years. Kind of stinks. So give me reason why to keep it, Brooklyn. Uh, one, there's Sherlock on it, okay. which I've been watching a ton, re-watching re it, in fact. 
for like okay. I don't know how how what time. Then Miraculous Ladybug. I'm waiting for season five or whatever season they're on. Seasons weird on it, but I'm waiting for that. Then the New York special to come out. Then the other specials that are supposed to come out. So that's why I feel like you should keep Netflix because I use it, just not often. Hmm. Maybe. It's Please, strange. I beg of you. What? I beg of you. Please. You beg of me? Yes. How else would I watch those two shows? I have no clue. I have no clue. Because <laughs> then with Netflix, I can watch whatever episode I want of it. True. True. Now I do have season four on, of Sherlock on Voodoo. Yeah. Yeah, but still, I don't have my miraculous ladybug. How how badly do you really need that, though? I mean... It's a good uh, show. Okay, okay. Even though it's meant for, like, seven, eight-year-olds, it's still good. All right. If you say so. Yes. Okay. So, what what is it that you wanted to talk about? I don't think you've ever covered this. If you have, I've never known about it. Food and Wine Festival. You want I just to do like, hmm? You want to talk about the Food and Wine Festival? Just like a small snippet, like from when we went. Okay. Okay. You have the floor. Yay. So <laughs> when we went, one of the days, um, I can't remember what day it was, but we were in Japan because, like, that's like our favorite pavilion for like me and my dad. So one of the, the stand for Japan had this uh, teriyaki steam bun. It was delicious. Oh my gosh. You speak the truth. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you, you know, I've tried since then to try to like recreate the, the steam bun. Um, I got close. Got yeah, close. it was really good when you um, made it. The the pro the problem is you can't make very many at a time, which stinks. Um, because I can't remember how long they take, but they take long enough to where it it's not feasible, pretty much to like to fix for like four or five people. Yeah, because like know? we had batches because of yeah. how long. Because, like, we had, because I'm pretty sure, like, it got to the point where I think we did, like, Evans on, like, the stove or something. Um, yeah. We did a stove. It, it was, it was something like that. Um, I can't remember. Can't remember exactly. We had steamers going. I had the, the stove going, trying to steam. Um, yeah, I, I tried, I tried everything. I got, I got, I got pretty close. I really need to try to make them again, but I don't want to make them again until I can know I can make more than just like four at a time. You know? I want you to make them again. I want to help again. So, but yeah, food, food and wine festival. If you have a chance to go to Disney during that time, oh my gosh, it's it's so wonderful. So recommended. Wonderful. And really, the only thing I tried from it was the. Uh, uh, the teriyaki steam bun. So I don't really have anything else to say. Well, didn't didn't you try that boba that Evan really liked? I think I did, and I did not like it. Which is Wait, crazy. No, I didn't. I didn't. You didn't try it? No, it was you and Evan who went. It was only you and Evan who tried it. Mm. That was good too. That was good too. The um, boba milk tea, whatever it was. Yeah, it was like some sort of milk tea. I'm not a big fan of that milk tea, but that 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 stuff at Disney that was really good. So, even though it's expensive, this is something that's year round. It's not part of food and wine. I mean that's the ste the steam bun the steam the buns weren't really too bad for what you got and the price. Um, I wish I wish they had an Ali Teppanito. Like as like an appetizer that you can get or something. Well, that's Japan, and steam buns are Chinese. Oh, really? So yes. 
But they're selling them in the Japan Pavilion. No, they were selling them in the Chi- the Chinese Pavilion. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were, I thought they were in the Japanese. Mm-mm. No. Oh. No. That's why it was such a chore to kind of get back over there. The little alone Halloween. Wait, no. I think you are right. But no. It yeah, was, because it, the the Ch- the Chinese pavilion had the boba. That's what yeah. it was. I am yeah. sorry. You are correct. I should I should know better than to correct my daughter when it comes to stuff like this. She she has a much better brain than I do. <laughs> All she is is smiling. If you're just listening to this on the podcast, she's just smiling. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, hee hee hee. See, I, I, I can admit when I'm wrong. I can yeah. admit when I'm wrong. I'm a good boy. I get my tea and cookies. I know. Weird. <laughs> Anything no, else you want to say? I don't know what you said. I heard tea and cookies. <laughs> That's all I said. Oh. Um, so, anything else you want to talk about, about the food and wine? Uh. No, I mean, no. we're the the thing is, we're not, <clears throat> especially me. I'm not a big alcoholic drinker, so I, 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 I'm part no. already like half of the food and wine festival is null and void to me. <laughs> so, me. so same with Brooklyn. Um, don't get me wrong; if there's something good, I will, I will, I will try it. But nothing that nothing when we went for food and wine, nothing sounded good. So I stayed away from it. So. So, Brooke, why not finally get to the topic of today? (laughs) So, yeah, I I, I thought I I can't remember how I uh, brought my brain worked on bringing this up. But I was wondering why doesn't Disney make resorts outside of Disney? Good now, question. Huh? Good question. Now, I will say this. They have bought some, you know, some resorts that are, you know, in the United States, you know, and all around the world. That, you know, you got you, Hilton Head is one that comes to mind. But why haven't we seen like an Animal Kingdom Lodge resort? I would why? say they can make a lot of money off of it. Um, a lot more money. I mean, I you you have resorts like um, the ones up in Cleveland and Cincinnati where they have a water park in it. Or, or like, for like Cedar Point and Kings Island. Yeah, but you know, I think it would be really cool to have to go visit a Disney resort, get that, get a you know small bit of that Disney experience without having to necessarily go all the way to Disney World or Disneyland or any of the other theme parks on the east side of the world. Yeah. So whatever. So my my thought is what are some of the things they could do to bring the Disney magic to say I don't know Columbus Ohio. Well what 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 would what would what would you like to see Brooke? You're you're almost the dem- the, the precise demographic they want to hit. What would you like to see? Hmm. It would be cool to see like Animal Kingdom and like other stuff that like I also haven't been to. So I've only been to Animal Kingdom Resort. That's like the only one we. That's like the one we stayed at that I've gone to for the past how many trips I've ever been on. All your life. Yeah. Except for my fourth birthday, we didn't stay at a resort. What? Remember, we didn't. We stayed. Um. On one that of, that was something totally different. We're talking about whenever we go with Grandma and Grandpa, we've been at uh, Animal Kingdom. Then yes, I've only been to Animal Kingdom. 
Um, but in all- but, yeah, and in, in all our trips, pretty much, it's just been strictly Animal Kingdom. So, what what would you like to see? I would like to see probably better versions of like part of like basically like the Hollywood Studio resorts, like Art of Animation, like all those. Because gotcha. I want to go to Art of Animation personally, because that would be cool. Since I'm into art, mm-hmm. Sp- specifically animation and digital, like all digital, but. We are sitting, we're like just like stay at Animal Kingdom. So I feel like it would be cool to see like better versions of like the Hollywood Studio hotels. Okay. Okay. They're they're not really necessarily Hollywood Studio hotels, but I get what you mean. I I don't Um, know the best way to put them. Uh but yeah, like art of animation would be a really good idea. I know that they have a couple of places where they hold memorabilia and stuff like that. If they would incorporate that into kind of a resort, I think would be nice. Uh, Some of the things that I thought of, I think it would be really cool if they would take some of their attractions and theme, maybe not necessarily a whole hotel around, Maybe take uh, like a couple of them, theme it, and then, you know, um, do something like that where like the like food and entertainment and stuff like that is themed to maybe like maybe this resort is themed to like Haunted Mansion. Or uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I was thinking it would be cool to like do like the water parks, like have like a recreation of the water parks, right? Like have an outsized version. Since especially since like usually like one water parks open half of the year, then the other water parks open for the other half of the year. Yeah, you I- have yeah the refurbishment time for each of them every year. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when one refurbished, the other one is open. Then right. Vice versa. Right. I think I think it would be cool to kind of have a water park version too. But um I think I think it'd be interesting if like you stayed in a room that is, you know, based off the haunted mansion. Or what if uh you went, you know, this resort was based off the Disney princesses. You know. Have like Cinderella's castle recreation. Right. Is I mean a- since there's like a kind of like a suite in like the uh in the Cinderella's hotel or not hotel castle yeah. like there's a little suite that's like very expensive. I don't I don't even think uh excuse me I don't even think you could even buy it you know to rent it I think it's I think it's pretty much like luck of the draw to be able to even experience that. Yeah. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've heard about it, but yeah, it's hard to get. Yeah. So what? So we got, we got water slides, you know, water park. We got themed attractions. What if you, what would get you to stay at one of these resorts? If it was based off an attraction. Is there like a specific attraction? Any, just any. Yeah, do you, you you tell me? You tell me. Wait, what was the question again? Sorry, I spaced out. What what uh what resort would you, you know, if they did this, what theme would you want it to be? Oh, um, whether it's attraction based or like a general idea, like Disney princesses, um, stuff like that. It would that. be cool to see like a Muppets resort. You nailed that it right on the cool. head. That would be cool. Yeah. That would that would absolutely be cool. And then you would have, you know, Muppets memorabilia everywhere, seeing and just even if they had a stage show, that would be I was really just thinking of that. That would that would that would that would be cool. Yeah. I would like that. <laughs> so we got Haunted Mansion, we got Haunted Muppet. Mansion rooms. We got pirates, Ooh. and we have water park. 
Muppets. I mean, obviously, you got to have one that's based off of Mickey Mouse and all of his friends. Um, but I, I also feel that could pro- possibly be kind of like the art of animation style that you're yeah, kind of thinking of. Actually, yeah, because like then they would have like a part of the hotel where it's like learn how to draw, like animate or like draw Mickey and his friends or something. Yeah, yeah. Um. So what? What else? What else? We need a spitball here. There, there's, there's so many ideas that could go along with this that Disney would be able to think of like easily. Tron Hotel. A lot of black light. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers. Yeah. I want, or, or is, I, I wonder if they could get away with having an Avengers hotel or Avengers hotel over on the East coast here since, uh, um, you know, I was like California. Universal. Yeah. It can, it, you can eat Avengers is free game over at Disneyland. Or at yeah. Disney World, only certain characters can be used. But like, you can't use like Spider Man over in Disney World. No, you can in Disneyland, just not in Disney World. But I wonder which if does, they... which doesn't make sense. No, it makes sense because Universal has the rights, and they only have the rights to the Mississippi line. Oh, really? I thought it was because um, since Orlando. There's both Disney World and uh, in Orlando. I thought that was why. No, no, it, it's it's Anna. it's simple. Universal owns it. They they're allowed to own it until they don't want it. Universal, please do not want <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I blanked for a second. But I wonder if they can get a, if Disney can get away with making a themed hotel around Avengers over on the East Co- East Coast because it's not a park. I don't know what the what you know Guideline. the the guidelines are for it, but it makes me wonder if they can get a, get away with having an Avengers resort. That would be cool. If anything, don't have Spider Man. Well, they they have Captain America, Iron Man, I mean Hulk, Wolverine. They 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 own certain characters, which unfortunately makes up most of the Avengers. Really? Yeah. I thought that was all like Marvel owned. No, well, so Marvel did- Marvel owns it, but they they bought certain rights of certain characters to be able to use in Islands of Adventure even though they hardly use them anymore. They got a spider. Huh? It's Islands of Adventure. Well, Islands of of Adventure is more of a home to Harry Potter now. Stuff like that. I mean, they have, they have a Harry Potter area in each, in both. Yeah. Both parks, but, um, yeah. So all, all they have is a Hulk coaster and a, a Spider-Man 3D ride. And other than that, I think they just use the characters just for like meet and greets. They also, uh, don't they also have the Simpsons? Because they have the Simpsons ride. They, they, I can't remember. Because I know, I can't remember which one. I think it's Orlando. They have a Simpsons ride there. Yeah, yeah, I know about the Simpsons ride. I couldn't remember if it was still there or not. But as far as I know of, uh, Disney's just kind of letting them have it. Um, I'm just but... waiting until there's like a park where it's like Disney World and or and Universal. Just like <laughs> I'm just waiting for that day. <sighs> It may happen in your lifetime, but it ain't happened in mine. I'll say that. <laughs> if they haven't given up the uh, the the Marvel characters yet, then I don't see them giving them up anytime soon. Yeah. So, but I but in all honesty, I really wish Disney would consider this. I mean, they have they have you know their boats. Their entertainment boats that are Disney themed. So, you know, why not? 
Yeah, give us give us a themed uh hotel, uh Disney. It'd be nice. It'd be really nice. Yeah. I would drive out of the state just for it. Yeah, oh I would too. I would too. So um yeah. So do you have anything else you want to talk about? Hmm. I love this. Oh, no, I really just came up with the food and wine festival like last minute. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? I mean, when it when it comes to Disney, I could talk about anything for ever. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what? We go there too often. We we do. Um, but. But for the for this episode, no, I don't really have like too much to say. But um I don't know. Like I said, do you have anything else you, you want to talk about, you want to bring up? Um uh, uh this kinda isn't Disney related, but Splatfest is in less than two hours. Oh my gosh. Well, you... really? Probably one hour and 54 minutes. So what, wait, what time does it start at? In, at five? Yes. No, gotcha. six. 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 But really, since I, I've learned that we're three hours ahead, then PTS, PTST, I think is what it is. Yeah. Because they're three hours behind us. We're really for PTSD or P- PTSD is something totally different than... <laughs> <laughs> than what you're trying to say. PST? Specific standard time. PST. Okay, PST. Um, <laughs> it's starting at 3 p.m. for them, and we live on EST, so um, yes. it, for us it's... Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Three for hour difference. Six... So. Yeah. I know what I'm doing tonight. Well, good. Yeah. Good. Good. I was going to sit in my room all night playing Splatoon. Well, sounds good. I'll try to get sleep. <laughs> Alright, well, this is the Nerd and Geek podcast, Nerd and Geek section podcast. I know sometimes I say the Nerd and Geek podcast, and then our show is called the Nerd and Geek section podcast. I don't know why I keep just saying that. It just seems shorter. Um, but I finally have up what all I need to plug. Thank goodness. You can check us out on Twitter at nerd and nerd at nerd geek section. Take out the and (laughs) at nerd geek section on Twitter. Uh, We got a YouTube channel. Um, Just search for uh, Cywolf. C Y W O L V E. It, it, I, right now I'm just posting everything to my personal channel until we can have our own uh, we got uh, on Twitch same thing fi- look up Cywolf you can find us there and then our home for our podcast is uh, anchor.fm and then you can find us at forward slash NGS just, it's a simple search you can find us no biggie um and anywhere else you listen to your podcasts yes you can find us by apple google i don't know what else podcasts because of because of anchor fm it kind of posts it to multiple different places it's really cool it's really easy i love anchor.fm just hands down if you want to make your own podcast Go to anchor.fm. Isn't it free? Yeah, it's free. Free. Now, everything else, you know, costs money, but... Um, like gear and setup, but... Yeah, like my wonderful crappy setup, but... Um, and I'm using my iPhone for uh, video, which I don't think coming onto my computer, it has been very blurry. I am going to have to check it. 
I need a new computer, basically. <laughs> this thing is too old. It's just meant for a, to be a media server, pretty much. So, yeah. So I use iPad. What? I use my iPad. See, now that's the thing. I could use my iPad, too, for all this. Very easily. It'd be able to run it very well. Fine. But I found out I can't record the Zoom Zoom calls. So if I was able to record it, yeah, I'd be I'd be doing all this on my iPad. But no, won't let me. Won't let me. So I am Mace. Above me is For Colin, sorry. <laughs> oh boy let's try this again thank you for <laughs> listening ready. i am mace above me and with me is brooklyn brooklyn <laughs> his daughter <laughs> and again thank you so much for listening to the nerd and geek section podcast we really do appreciate it and to go out gonna play some manifest everybody take care bye one shot two shot take your best touch show us what you got show us what you got back up back up get smashed up tell us what you want what you what you want